All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Ravenfield. Oh my god, I got something amazing to show you. <laughs> I'm prone now, boys. I'm a flipper snake. Whoa! That was quite rude. That guy almost ran me over. If you press Z, you can go prone. Oh my god, it's amazing! Oh my god, and this is the M4. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, soldier. That's a real nice minigun you got there. Oh my god! <laughs> I killed myself! Well, that's what you call ironic. Alright, so this is the minigun. The minigun is made by KP. Is that an enemy? Oh, wait, I can't move that way. Oh, wait. I think I disabled my friends. <laughs> Guys, I think I, I think I... Oh, my God! They're gonna just plump... Oh, these poor idiots. Soldiers, you alive? You ain't alive, are you, son? Check this out. Ooh, dude. Okay, so I've been playing Fallout 4. I've been streaming over on the Facebook page in the build-up to Fallout 76 PS 12 days till Fallout Beta on the Xbox. I'm gonna be playing it, I'm gonna be streaming it, we're gonna have videos here. Oh god, those miniguns sound amazing, do they not? So basically, I think the minigun that KP got, I think it might be the same minigun. Oh, nice shot. He's dead. I think it might be the same one from the minigun. The cool thing is, is when you fire it, Soldier, I'm not gonna shoot you. Is look at the barrel will turn red. It starts to overheat. And you see that you see the change in color? I wonder if we can get it to where it looks. Oh yeah, okay. Once it overheats, it just stops. You you don't get to see it go like, you know, red, bright lava hot red, which would be pretty cool. But the M4A1s are made by 3A5Y. We've also got a legendary scar in this as well, which is kind of like the more, uh, sniper variant of the Scar. Whoa, 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 shots fired. And then we've got this, uh, double barrel shotgun by Dr. Dr. PhD. One of the funniest names in the game. And it sounds glorious. Dr. Dr. always has really, really good animations, I've realized. Like, I always feel like his guns are pretty well balanced. He doesn't make as many things. Ooh, I like the little tracer fire happening. But when he does make things, they're very, very high quality, and I appreciate that. Alright, where are these guys? I got my double barrel out. Oh, that's an ATV flying. Where you at, boys? Ooh, there's a minigun there. Yeah, so I basically replaced the machine gun, the anti-air gun, and the anti-tank gun all with the minigun. So all we have is miniguns. So if I run into a minigun, we're gonna have a problem. Oh, by the way. This amazing map that you're seeing is called Forgotten Mountains, and it's by Chairtop. And yes, I know you guys came to see the nuke, and we're going to be showing that a little bit later. We're going to be exploring this map. We don't want to irradiate it in a Fallout Wasteland type environment before we done explored it a little bit. Soldier, I like how you're just casually chill. Nice here. Yeah, that's good idea. That's a bold move. You hear those miniguns firing? Dang, those things are nasty. What is this? What am I looking at right here? Some kind of weird, broken, like, agricultural facility or something? What is this thing? Maybe an oil refinery? That doesn't look like it to me, honestly. I have no idea. If you guys know what that is, let me know, because I literally have not a clue. But I love how, so, this ability to go prone is is done by uh, Steel Raven. So, I mean, like, it's pretty, it's a pretty big update. There's gonna be, like, we're on what? It, this is, it's been an update to the beta branch, so that means we're gonna get on the main branch soon. I almost always have my Raven Field set to the beta branch. That's how we saw Canyon and Mountain Range, the two custom maps. And I think there have been updates to them. I love how the first person I killed was a teammate and he was named Baron. Oh, that, that was hilarious, like... Oh! Woo! The reload animation is so smooth and clean. Those miniguns are vicious. You you hear those things out there? Oh, hey, buddy. Where are you going? Oh, okay. Collision models. There we go. Interlopers finally down. I think that's an enemy helicopter. I surely hope so because I'm about to shoot it out of the sky or attempt to. Kobe! 
He's still firing. He's still firing on my transport helicopter. I gotta knock him out, man. We gotta do this one for the good guys. Oh, what a swing and a miss. All right, so how do ladders work? You go up and press F. Pretty straightforward. You gotta unpress F. So it'd be cool if that does change in the future. I love these custom weapons that I'm using. Check out this river. It's protecting this giant antenna over here. We could swim, but oh, 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 we're f we fell in the water. We have to swim. Wait, I'm not swimming. I'm like, it's like shallow water. That's very interesting. Can I get up there? I can. Of course I can't. That would be too convenient. Okay, here we go. Where I, I, I thought I saw some reds. Oh, there's a, there's a guy with a minigun in there. Oh, <gasps> who did it? We can't even see him. It looks like he has a shotgun. All right, let's check out the map. So this is Forgotten Mountains. You can see that my team, the blue team, has three points. It looks like there's one that's uncaptured right over here, and we're contesting this one. So I'm actually going to spawn over here, take a plane or helicopter, and attempt to move in. Oh, really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that, that's out of, the, out of commission. All right, soldiers, I don't want to have to do this. All right, I've got, I mean, I had to take the bomber. All right, so I'm gonna basically, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we're, we're having problems, hold on. I need this fighter. I need this fighter. The fighter should be able to take off without slapping. I bet, I bet what I could do is on this map, change it so the bomber spawns in this one, and maybe we wouldn't have to deal with the fence. That fence needs to go, though, honestly, if you wanna be able to take out any planes. No jet planes would be able to take off from there. Because you know that jet planes need longer runways, right? It's interesting how the AI, maybe they just don't have the time to get over here. Oh, there it is. Oh, Kobe. Someone was here before they got killed. I wonder if it was the helicopter that did it. But yeah, look at this map. It looks like a construction site. It's almost like a battlefield in a mountain range. Where would this be? I love the tracers now. I wonder if it's only certain guns. Like, what, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it's a ra like any Ravenfield guns. But we have a really good idea of where the enemy fire is coming from. And we can lay down return fire. Ooh, I'm at 69 health. Nice. That should be enough. Very nice. Oh my god, I'm the best shot in the world. This M4A1... 3A, 5Y, it's really, really good. I gotta say. And then Doctor Doctor. Look at that. It's just sweet. It's the sawed off, so I can use it as my secondary. We just emptied a full mag. We should be able to capture this flag. Then we'll have five to three. If you look at it, my team took the one on the other side of the river. Oh, hold on. Enemy Zodiac. Well, if you don't get out of the... If you don't get out of Zodiac, this doesn't make this hard to kill you. Alright, we've taken the flag. I'm gonna move down here. There's other M4A1 variants. I'm gonna try to get this sawed off. Oh, he's got one. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, Moo! I still want the option to be able to pick up their weapons. I think that'd be really cool. Which would be like most first-person shooters that's multiplayer, right? Well, I guess this isn't multiplayer, so there is that to account for. Blue team's victorious. Gotta love it. Alright, so let's go to deployment and check out. I want to spawn in over the river, but I'm going to show you these M4A1s, right? So we've got M4A1. M4A1 with the close quarters battle site. We got a holographic site. Um, oh my god. Hey, boy. And let's see. I'm actually going to try this one for now. And look at this. We still have the Tomahawk nukes to call in. I'm not sure how that's going to work. This should be real weird. But nuking enemy base is always quite satisfying. Our team absolute kicked butt. I like the barbed wire fences. It still reminds me of like a battle in a lumberyard, like maybe in Canada or in um, Montana or something. Montana was where what? Uh, Far Cry 5 was set. And in Canada, there's a cool little tidbit about Canada from like the Fallout lore here. Oh, I, I, I didn't know it was an iron sight. I guess it works. It'll definitely work. We'll definitely be able to kill people with it. But in Fallout, right, so what happened was is the Chinese invade the United States. And they invade the United States in uh, Alaska. Wow, that, that guy took quite a few rounds. 
Oh man, that guy just got hit with artillery. So anyway, the Chinese invade Alaska. And uh, the Americans have to counterattack, right? And so they're like, well, we gotta move so much men and material to Alaska. We have to do it through Canada. So what the Americans end up doing, they're like, you know what? Screw it. Canada, you're ours now. And the Canadians are like, WTF, mate. I guess that's like Australia, right? That would be like, WTF, mate. We're like, hey, mate. What's the problem, eh? And the Americans are like, well, I mean, quite frankly, we gotta battle the Chinese, so you gotta die. Oh, I missed that shot. Very anticlimactic on the you gotta die. But I just think it's kind of cool, like, that there's so many battles that happen in Fallout. Or rather, in the build-up, you know, leading up to the Great War. And this kind of reminds me of it. And it makes me sad that there's not more Fallout mods. There's a lot of weapon mods, but there's no real maps. And there's no, like, vehicles or power armor or, like, there's no pit boys and stuff like that. There are stim packs, which is pretty cool. Okay, we gotta get up and not die. You know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. I'm calling in a tactical nuke. That position is very well head held. All right, we gotta... Oh, oh, no, I died. Let's see if the nuke comes. I called it in. Oh my god! Okay. Dang, that's an actual mushroom cloud! Alright. That is awesome. Okay, I need to get an elevated position. <gasps> I need to get up on the tower. I don't know if it's possible, but we're gonna try it. Also, I saw the thing come in. I saw the Tomahawk missile. So it's a nuclear uh, warhead delivered by a Tomahawk missile. Which is what... I'm pretty sure Bill Clinton used to, like, attack Somalia, um, in the 1990s, so Tomahawk missiles have been out for a while. Alright, we're calling in a nuke. Let's see if we can't see it come in. Last time I saw it come in from the left. Whoa, what's that? Oh, that's chaff. Oh! Oh my god! It destroyed me, too! It took out everything in the area! Wait, I swear I saw a blue guy survive. Oh, wow, the enemy took that position? Shoot! Okay, we need more tactical nukes, gentlemen. Yes, so the tactical nuke, the nuclear strike, is made by Swoke and his team. And they've always done a really good job. They're the ones who have, like, the, you know, AC-130 gunship. Alright, so that's a blue tank. I don't really want to call in the nuke there. I want to make sure that I have a decent view of this nuke, but also I don't want to get hit. Alright, we called in the nuke. I should have switched my M4. The enemy is shooting... Oh, there it is! There it is in the background! There's the nuke! Okay. Alright, we're gonna- we're gonna- we're gonna do slow motion. There it is! That's beautiful, Smoke. You and your team. Ready for the nuke? Let's see if it hits us back here. Oh my god. Look at that. If that's not one of the most beautiful mushroom cloud animations in any video game, I'll be honest, I went to the Fallout 76 event, and their mushroom cloud didn't look this good. Swoke, you and your guys, you killed it. And you killed the entirety of the enemy team. But look, they respawned already. Let's call it in, let's call in another one on... I gotta make sure... Alright, that one across the river is an enemy held position. We're calling in, we're calling in a tomahawk. Oh my god, cryptic. Well, now you just messed up. Oh wait, there it is though. I can still see it. There it is. Look, it even looks like a tomahawk. I mean, it should because it is. Oh my god! We were standing, what, maybe just too close to it? But look at that mushroom cloud. Oh, you know what? Here, let's try to go prone, right? Because that's like the new thing. It only makes sense that we try to go prone before the nuke. It'd be cool if there was almost like a, a detectability, right? So if you're going prone, maybe the enemy wouldn't be able to see you as easily as if you were running. So maybe it would affect their shooting distance on a target that is crouched. So here we go. I'm creeping through this forest. Picking up the field mice and bopping them on the heads. Let's check the map. We need the- we need proper intelligence. I don't want any... friendly fire here. 
All right, now we've got to get a good view of the tom. Oh shoot! Oh, that was artillery. I don't see it coming in yet. Oh, <gasps> there it is. He came in low. Whoa, hello, helicopter. All right, let's see if it blows us up here. Oh, those poor guys in the air got absolutely destroyed. I got destroyed. Those guys in the air definitely got air blasted, like, miles and miles and miles via the kinetic force of a ballistic nuclear missile making impact on an enemy base. All right, let's see what else we got. I want to find... Here it is, the SSR. This is made, um, the Legendary Scar is made by 3A5Y, uh, and then there's somebody else. I'm not familiar, like, I, I I don't even know if it's Chinese or Japanese. Forgive my ignorance in my ethnocentrism. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure which it is, but I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know what it means. I've never seen those words before. All right, ooh, check this out. Hello. Oh! This is dirty. Oh man, I like this scar snipe rifle. Semi-automatic, pretty good hitting power. If I hit them in the body, they seem to go down. And obviously, upper body and headshots is a kill. Whoa, tiger! I ain't ready to go down. Oh well, I guess it. I guess they don't care if I'm ready. So now the ultimate test of the potency of a nuclear missile is to see if it can destroy the enemy carrier. At some point, I feel that Ravenfield will have fully destructible, like, big vehicles, where it's not just like a plane, where, like, you know, one hit and it's destroyed, but you could, like, maybe crack the carrier in half and stuff like that. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to fly down, and then I'm going to fly up, and I'm going to see if I can't catapult that plane and uh, land. No, that's definitely ain't going to fall backwards, actually. It's falling backwards. I might be able to... You think we could land in it and catch it? Oh, is that? Those are my guys. Okay, good. Gentlemen. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is gonna be bad. So, my small arms fire did nothing to stop that thing. I need a Barrett 50 cal, man. That'd be cool if you could have, like, uh, armor piercing. So it's like vehicles go beyond just having hit boxes, or rather, excuse me, hit points. But instead, okay, we're gonna call, we're gonna call a missile in here. On the carrier, and see where it comes in from. We gotta keep our head on a swivel to look for the tomahawk there. Wait, is that it? Yeah, oh, no, no, stop. You're ruining the party, Billy. Crow! Man. All right, so that that ship is a problem. Let's see if we can't minigun it. I mean, we could if he was in he was in target range. Look at this, the Death Star will be in range. Oh, come on, stop overheating. There's a titties, titty balls, mate. We're getting thwarted at every turn by the eagles. All right, well, should we call it in here? You know what I didn't do is I didn't do prone. You may fire when ready. All right, so it should fire from the same position each time, and there it does. Oh, stop it! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die again. I didn't die. Wait, 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 wait! There is! Oh, the Tomahawk's gonna hit the carrier! Oh, it, did it miss? Is it a dud? Oh my god! Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh my god, it's beautiful. We nuked the carrier. It doesn't seem like it affected at all. Look at that mushroom cloud. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That is just beyond beautiful. And everybody gets nuked except for the guys that apparently just respawned. Look at these guys arcing shots at me. Anything you can do, I can do better. I just arced a shot and shot you first. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can with a nuclear tomahawk missile. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. After this one lands, I'm gonna fire at that ship and see if we can't get close to blowing that ship out of the harbor. We're getting a lot of stray fire happening. Let's watch this once again. Oh, no! We've got ships, guys! Get out of there! Get out of there! Watch, watch what happens to these poor guys. 
Oh, immediately vaporized. Look at the bodies just flying off the carrier. And then the helicopter's like, well, I just spawned in, so I can't be affected by the kinetic energy of a 11.5725, repeating, of course, kiloton nuclear blast. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Is that good guys or bad guys? Good guys. This is awesome. I'm really, really digging this, this tomahawk. I think it is the coolest airstrike. And the AC-130 gunship, Spectre gunship, was awesome. If you haven't seen that one, hit over to the channel, man, because, like, there are some really, really cool things like this. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I should have preempted that and tried to see if we couldn't hit that helicopter as it was taking off. I still think it may be possible if it hovers around the carrier for just a little bit of time. We may not be able to destroy that carrier, but we will- Oh, someone's- someone's spraying me with a minigun. Hold on. Oh my titties! And there's wheels, but watch that- watch the helicopter. We- we'll still be able to watch that. Oh, no, okay. Thanks. Thanks, camera. Yeah, that's... That's great. I'm glad that you, uh... TOTALLY RUINED EVERYTHING! Oh, <laughs> it got him, though. I called it on that helicopter. I don't think my timing's gonna be perfect, but I should be able to destroy the helicopter. Let's see, Tomahawk is gonna hit in what? Let's say... Five. Four, three, two, one, detonation! Did we get the helicopter? We did! Oh, why? Well, I, I wish the blast would kill them. That'd be really cool. Well, I gotta say that this has been pretty solid. We've gotten to see a number of new weapons. Oh, wow, I thought this was automatic for a second, but it's actually just semi automatic, but I can go. <laughs> by hammering it down. So we got the Forgotten Mountains by Chertov, the Double Barrel Shoddy, check it out, by Dr. Dr. PhD, the M4A1 and the Legendary Scars by 3A5Y, and then his teammate who made the scar, we got the Minigun by KP, the, ooh, I didn't show up a certain vehicle that I have written on this list, we'll save that for another one, and then the Nuclear Strike by Swoke, let's see that one once again. So the first test, you know what, actually, I want to see what happens if a nuke hits, like, me. So let's see what, let's see what happens here. This is, this is gonna be pretty terrifying. I'm gonna do it in slow motion. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The Russians. Those bear cavalry riding Russians. Wait, that doesn't even look like it's gonna get close. Oh, Tomahawk! No! Guys, it's been nice knowing you. Wait, did I not die? I didn't die. What? But I'm in the blast. I'm... I have been ordained by the Almighty. I am now Baron, Lord of War. Well, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next video, Ravenfield. And I'll see you guys there.